Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're gonna do a sight guide for Rainbow Six Siege. There's eight different optics in the game at the moment. I'm sure there will be more in the future. And we're gonna compare them side by side and talk about the pros and cons. Each one of them is gonna cost you a little bit of renown to unlock if you wanna use them instead of your standard iron sights. And I found it pretty helpful to look at them side by side to really make up my mind on which one I thought was the best. Now we have four US optics that are available to most of the operators and then the Russian operators get their own for optics, although each optic is important in its own right. We'll cover the Western optics first since they're the most prevalent. The first one here is the red dot sight. It can be unlocked for 200 renown and it's pretty small. It's based on the aim point T1 or T2 micro sight. This is actually a phenomenal optic in real life. Unfortunately, in Rainbow Six Siege, you don't really get many of the real world benefits. When you aim down sight, the housing is fairly large and the red dot itself is so large that it becomes hard to be precise with it at further ranges. It's pretty much a close quarter only optic. I wouldn't recommend it for trying to pinpoint targets uh, at long distances. Next on the list is the Holotech sight, a very well known and prevalent sight in military usage. This thing is pretty big. It's that big boxy sight that sits on top of the gun. It can be unlocked for 150 renown and it's one of my favorite optics. Despite its very large sight housing, which can get in the way, the actual sight picture itself is large enough and the red dot is very precise that allows you to watch angles and corners fairly unobstructed. Next we have the very small reflex sight for 150 renown. This is based off of a Trinjicon optic which is the same company that does the ACOG as well. Oddly enough, this is an optic that you would probably see more often than not on a handgun or as a backup optic. They actually make an ACOG that comes with one of these mounted on top of it as your backup reflex sight. Now the housing on this one is fairly minimal, but the sight window is also very small and I find that it gets in the way of seeing people sneaking up on either side of the optic housing. Also, it's got a fairly large dot, which makes it a little bit tricky to be precise with. There's a few guns in the game that don't allow you to run with a holographic sight, so so I'll use this one instead, but it's not my preferred choice. And lastly, we have the ACOG, which stands for Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight. This guy can be unlocked for 250 renown, making it the most expensive Western optic, and it gives you a two and a half times multiplier, even though the specific ACOG they've modeled here is actually a four times magnification sight. This optic can be very good if you like a slow, more methodical play style, where you need to slowly pie corners and clear out rooms. You get the extra extra detail from the magnification can be a little bit easier to spot your enemies. However, this optic is really best for premeditated combat when you're expecting to see somebody. If somebody gets the jump on you, the ACOG is probably the last sight you want. Now putting all four optics side by side, it's kind of interesting how Ubisoft rendered these because they have the camera get closer or further away from the gun depending on which optic you're using. And I think they did this to try and make for the most part, the optics right around the same size, even though they're not in real life. And this, for the most part, is just to make sure that the optics are somewhat similar to each other and how they perform. Even though the rendering of these optics, I personally think is really bad. And for a game that has so few optic choices, I hope they come back and do a second pass on the way they render optics. Ubisoft, if you're watching this, go check out Medal of Honor Warfighter from 2012. Despite the game not being a big hit, the optic rendering in that game was phenomenal. Now, because they do give you the choice between all four of these optics, in my mind, there's only one clear winner for a general purpose optic, and that is the holographic sight. I think the sight picture is the best and the red dot is the finest. The other ones are just too big and not accurate enough for my personal taste. Moving on to the Russian optics, I think these guys are pretty much superior in every way. Unfortunately, they're not available on more weapons. Only four operators can actually use Russian-made optics. This optic here is again referred to as a red dot sight. It is actually the Russian Cobra sight, and it's got a fairly minimal housing on top, but a fat body on the bottom, which can be a little bit tricky for hitting prone targets or searching for prone targets. It's 200 renown to unlock, and it's not bad, but I think there's some better options out there. 
The next optic is the Russian holographic sight can be unlocked for 150 renown, and this one in my opinion is comically bad. The sight housing is huge and blocky, and the sight window is incredibly small. The aiming reticle isn't that great either. There's just not a lot going for this optic. This could be a totally usable optic in real world situations, but it just doesn't translate to video games because of the way optics are rendered. Next is the Russian reflex sight, which can be unlocked for 150 renown, and this is a very cool looking, fairly modern Russian optic. It's got minimalistic housing that is stored off to the side of the weapon. So for the most part, it really doesn't obstruct your field of view around your weapon other than to the left bottom side of it ever so slightly. Without question, this sight wins in the minimalistic department. Whether or not you like the crosshair is up to you, but I find that the benefits of the housing outweigh any sort of cons you might have about the crosshair itself. Now the last sight here is kind of weird. I don't know if this is a typo or what, but it is certainly not an ACOG sight. It is a two and a half times magnified optic, although I don't think this actual optic in real life has any magnification. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's just a one times no magnification sight. Technical inconsistencies aside, it is a pretty good optic if you have that slower, more methodical methodical gameplay style. It's got minimal housing and a very big sight picture, so it's actually pretty good overall, especially if you're into precision shooting. This one can be had for 250 renown. Now putting the optics side by side, you can see just how far away they had to pull the camera from the green reflex sight uh, because the housing is so large and minimal, they had to try and balance it out in some way, but I still think that one takes the cake in terms of just overall usage. Some of the optics here are just comically bad, and I find it weird that they give you a choice between all of these optics when, in my mind, there's only one really clear winner. Anyway, just to recap, my two top sites are the hollow site for the US and the reflex site for the Russians. They can both be had for 150 renown, which is pretty cheap. I hope this site guide helps you guys spend your renown more efficiently in-game, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.